Uma das coisas legais de participar da FENACAM é receber o carinho dos seguidores do canal. É muito bom quando as pessoas me abordam, pedem para tirar foto, falam que acompanham o meu trabalho, isso é gratificante. Mas eu também tenho meus ídolos aqui na FENACAM. E Macintosh é um destes meus ídolos. Aliás, eu sou um colecionador de ídolos e aqui eu tive o privilégio de estar ao lado de um deles. Macintosh é uma referência mundial na produção de camarões. Estou acompanhado do jornalista e sócio do canal Rodrigo Facundes e do meu grande amigo engenheiro de pesca Diego Rocha, que também vai participar deste bate-papo informal. Macintosh, qual a importância de participar de uma FENACAM e de falar de camarão aqui no Brasil? Duas coisas. Agora em inglês, ok? Oh, okay. <laughs> First, I've always had a great belief in Brazilian aquaculture. I worked in Brazil, my first aquaculture job in 1979. And so I've always had a, a certain place in my heart for Brazil. Back in 2005, I started coming back to Brazil as I was working for the Thai company CP. With the objective of looking for potential business opportunities in South America. And so Brazil, of course, being one of my favorite, was a place that I, I looked at. And I saw a lot of good things in 2005. Brazil in 2005 was really at the top of American shrimp culture. 2005, Brazil was number one in Europe. 2005, Brazil had the same production as Ecuador. Brazil had the same production as India. And so for me, with all the resources, the energy, They feed commodities, uh, a history of successful industrial agriculture with, with the poultry and the livestock. How could Brazil miss? And so eventually CP formed a joint venture uh, in Rio Grande Norte uh, in, with Caminor back in 2017. And so I now come relative to our participation in the joint venture. Um, but again, it's always because I've had a great belief in the, the potential of Brazil. Worldwide, I've, I've gone out and, and stated, in my opinion, although I might have changed it today, but up to 2015, if you come back in the world 20 years from now, Brazil will be number one. Ecuadorian said SPF is weak, it doesn't work, but I had already done all of this stuff in Guatemala, Honduras. I go, here's a clean area. I'm going to start with a clean shrimp and just see. And sure enough, it was like magic. All of a sudden, I could grow 25, 30 gram shrimp again. I could have high survival rates again. I could have 15 tons per hectare. It was easy. Music